Hey you guys, it's your girl AJ, the Glamour Witch. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video talking about how to incorporate zodiac signs into your makeup routine with Glamour Magic. So today, I'm going to be showing you how I do that, and I'm going to be creating a look based off of my sun, moon, rising, and my Venus. So if you're interested in learning, just keep watching. My big three is a combination of air and water. So signs like Aquarius and Pisces are going to play a heavy role in how this look turns out. So before we get started, I'm going to do a little bit of candle magic to help and support the work. So here is our magnetic candle. The base of this look will be centered around my rising sign, which is kind of like your front facing energy or like that deepest part of yourself, right? Your rising sign, which is for me, Pisces. So I'm gonna be using a dewy primer and I don't have any dewy foundations because your girl is like oily combination skin. So I just don't be shopping for that. I be shopping Manify, but this one is a great combination of that. So I'm gonna be using my Dior Forever foundation in conjunction with this. I pray to God that it works, okay? With this Pisces energy, we're kind of going for like an ethereal glow and kind of like a dreamy look. And I do love me some Pisces. So if you're a Pisces out there, love you. Your primer should be your cleansing agent, your Florida water, the thing that sets everything up for success. We cleanse our candles and our magical tools so that they can be primed for whatever magical intention that we are setting on it. So I have set the intention that this primer is the thing that makes all of our other magical intentions come together smoothly and blend well. I'm going in with my color corrector. This is actually from LA Girl. And color correctors are a great opportunity for you to write sigils and symbols underneath your foundation. You can write it over the blemish or the dark spot or whatever the case may be and incorporate that energy with the direct focus for your intention and or you can use it as color magic. Red is a really great color for power and energy. So you can kind of be creative here, but I really like using it as a way to draw sigils and symbols underneath my foundation. Now I'm going in with my foundation. My intention with this is to bring out the energies of Pisces, that dreamy, sensitive, imaginative, creative, artistic vibration that allows you to see life and the world around you in a new way. So it's very playful and very ethereal. So now I'm gonna go in with my concealer to brighten things up. This is actually a hydrating concealer from e.l.f., the Camo Concealer with a satin finish. So again, we're still playing off of that Piscean energy. What I really like about my Pisces Rising is that although I'm like heavy on my air placements, Pisces kind of gives me like the creative freedom to look at problems and situations from a different perception and bring in more creativity into how I solve those issues. Um, it's also where I get a lot of my creative energy to make my music and I just really like I really appreciate Pisces energy just in my life in general, but I call upon this energy when I really need to get into my creative bag. I mean, Pisces are so artistic and beautiful and they're tapped into their emotional well, which is how they're able to come up with these like incredibly powerful, genius almost like artistic visions. Also concealer can be used similarly to color correctors in that it can um, be used to activate sigils and symbols, but I also like to use concealer as a way to kind of almost conceal my magic or my energy from those who would try to tap into it, siphon it, or drain me. You know what I mean? So literally concealing, camouflaging, you know, stopping people who have looky-loo energy or people who don't have controlled energy from being able to take any of yours. So I am gonna set this, so I am going to just go in with a little bit of setting spray. Setting sprays are great for locking in the energy or the intention and kind of finalizing that vibration. And because we're gonna be moving on, I'm gonna lock this down also because I don't want it to move. Since I'm doing a dewy look, I feel like it's gonna be slipping and sliding. So I am gonna go with like a very light dusting of some um, 
skin tone setting powder just because I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and any fallout I want to be able to just like kind of swipe it away um, I don't want it to stick underneath my eyes so just a little bit literally that's it okay so we're moving on to the eyes for my eye look I'm going to be utilizing my Aquarius Sun and my Aquarius Venus energy so this means blues silvery colors maybe even some like chromey or whatever but we're gonna we're just gonna make it our own very Aquarius so I'm gonna use this ethereal beauty eyeshadow palette because all of the colors in here are very much Aquarius Pisces energy and I just love this palette so much I'm also going to use this palette, which is from Morphe. This is the uh, Fierce Fairy Tale palette as well. So I'm actually going to combine this color here that's called Eye Roll with this color here that's called Moon Dust. So I had to just do the eye look because it was too complex for me to like go through each detail. But again, you want to imbue each color with a magical intention. And of course, we're setting the intention of Aquarius energy, which is innovative, free flowing, independent, intellectual. So yeah. Eyeliners are great for protection working. So evil eye protection, you can use them as a way to be able to detect or see through people's facades or their lies. You can pretty much charge it for anything because black is a protective color. We're gonna switch gears a little bit. I'm gonna switch over to a palette for some blushes. So I'm gonna be tapping into my Libra Moon for this. So Libra Moon is more like a peachy coral color and because we have this really icy blue color, I don't wanna go too heavy on that. So I'm gonna try to innovate something. So now I'm gonna go with my highlighter. I'm gonna go in with this like sheer, kind of like silvery, goldy color and just hit it very lightly on the, the sides here. So I kind of fast forward, I just put a little bit of pomade on my eyebrows to kind of organize them a little bit. For the lips, we're gonna keep it pretty simple, but I am gonna add just a little bit of iridescent, just a tiny bit on my lip. I just put some clear lip gloss on and then I'm just gonna go in with this color, this eyeshadow color called Full Moon. And just lightly, the like smallest amount like I, I'm saying the smallest amount I'm gonna go in one more time with my setting spray and lock it in so here is the final look what do we think I like it if you're interested in learning more about glamour magic I highly recommend that you pick up a copy of my book Batty Bruja Secrets a guide to glamour magic or come and join my four week course where we dive into the ins and outs of glamour magic and all the ways that it can change your life Okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. Be blessed.